So, um, I'm going to show you how to use some of these modules in the Musical Gestures toolbox. And we start up here with this input module. We click on the open and um, we'll get a dialog. There we have a dialog. We open a file and then I can click on the on button here to actually play back this video file. And as you see this video, the dancer in this video, she doesn't fill up all of the space. So the first thing we'd like to do is to actually zoom in the image so that she will uh, fill up most of the space. We do that here and notice here that I can actually click and drag in this window here, the preview window, to actually change the size of or the zooming level in the video. I can also click and drag to position the dance in the middle of the frame. And then we would also like to change the brightness and contrast of, of this video. So if you go here, then you can also, we can of course adjust here, but I prefer to actually go and click and drag again in this little preview window to get better uh, brightness and contrast in the image. Then we are ready for the motion, of making the motion image, which I do here. And um, now I don't have any threshold on it. I can turn up the threshold if I like, but now the image is so clear in the beginning so that we don't really need to have a threshold on it. Um, we could choose to, to, to turn on the noise reduction, which looks at um, how the pixels surrounding the current on pixels are looking. So with the noise reduction on we will only look at the bigger blobs in the image. And then we can go and create a motion gram of this. Um, so I do that here and I, I can plot this motion image here. And what you see is you can follow then the movements of the dancer up and down so when now she's moving you can see her movements and you can follow the trace of these movements in these motion grams. We could also turn the colors on um, to actually also visualize the gloves and the socks she's wearing at the moment so she has a yellow glove and one red glove and then you can also be able to see these especially if you create a bigger motion gram, you'll be able to see these. So this is mainly the idea of how I create motion grams.